He was the greatest. He didn't believe. He talked himself into believing he was the greatest. The man started talking. He talk, he trash talked his way into being the greatest. But then he was also a pro doer. Trump. He didn't say I'm the greatest and sit at home and eat Twinkies. He trained. He honed his skills. So the combination of I'm the greatest. He's working. I'm the greatest. Hey, I am the greatest. One day in here, I am the righteousness of God. See, when it hits you, I am the righteousness of God. I have what I say. Money coming to me. No, not something that we do as a ritual. Something that, that is. This is the way we, as the righteousness. Sons of God, and daughters of God, this is where we live. Too often in the church world, we're dealing with so much of the flesh, verbal flesh, physical flesh. People, people have a transition into living the spiritual life. God is birthing in the church. He's birthing something right now in this church. He's birthing. There's a birthing taking place. I want to pray for you before you leave, John. There's a birthing taking place in this church. It's a birthing. It's a new era. It's a new time. It's a new people who will fight. The people who will determine to win. People who will come. Amen. Is there anyone here this morning that you have never received the life of God? That you are not a child of God. You are not born again. You have not received Jesus as your personal Savior up until this point. If you're here this morning, you do not want to leave here without that secure in your life. I'm not going to ever take it for granted that everyone is born again that's under the sound of my voice. If you're here and you've never made Jesus the Lord of your life, you want to do that. You want to, you want to seal that deal today. It's free. The price of eternal life is free. It's already been paid for. If you have not accepted by, by his grace and by his favor and his goodness that, that transaction, I want you to slip up your hand right now. If you're not born again, if you've never received the life of God, bow your heads, please. Bow your heads, bow your heads. If you're not born again, I want you to slip up your head. Don't be, don't be concerned about who's around you. If you're not born again, raise your hand. If you need to be saved, raise your hand. Who's in trouble because I think the whole place will be full. You can, you can lift your hands now. I'm not done, I just gotta stop. Can I tell you my vision? God said a move of God. I see people coming here hungry for God. I see you hungry for God. Rescue somebody. Total rescue. trees for others. Be go doers. Not have hurts. Who do you know that needs to be rescued? Maybe somebody going to a church that 
you know they're not getting anything of, of substance. Maybe someone's not born again at all. This is the fight we have right now to gather the people who will hear the vision and to help people become established in righteousness and become disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ. Who are you mentoring? Who are you helping get established? They take the lead. I was.